Hey everybody, this is BuilderDude35, and this week's video is on the invert motor block in the EV3 programming software. The invert motor block is located under the advanced section in the EV3 programming software. So here it is right here, and I'll take it out so you can see it. And what it does is it'll flip the normal forward and backward operations for the selected motor. Like, for, so for example, entering a negative power after you've used this block to control the motor will actually make it spin in the positive direction. You select the motor that you want to be flipping using this motor port here. So in this case, I guess I'll say motor C. And down here is the true or false. This is basically going to uh, be what determines whether or not the motor is flipped. If you set it to true, then it's going to flip the motor. And if you set it to false, then it's going to flip it back to normal. So um, again, true is flipped and false is normal. And basically, this motor is going to remain inverted throughout the rest of the program until you put another invert motor block that is going to be set to false for the same motor. And this is going to flip the motor back to normal. So right here, after this block, it's going to be flipped where negative percentage of power is going to spin the motor in the positive direction. And then once you get to this part in the program, it's going to flip it back to normal. So what are the practical applications of this block? Well, it actually comes up a lot in real life in robotics outside of LEGO Robotics. And I say outside of LEGO because the shape of the EV3 motors makes this not a problem. But the, um, the problem occurs when you're using more like cylindrical shaped, these traditional type motors. And the reason why this pops up is because you see right now they are spinning in the same direction. But if you wanted to say have them facing opposite each other, like if you were having drive motors, you see now that they're actually spinning in opposite directions. If you wanted this to be your drive wheels, if you gave them both 100% power, the left side is going to drive forward but the right side is going to drive reverse. And so for simplicity of programming, you invert the right side motor. So now when you give them both 100% power, this one actually gets 100%, but the program knows to invert this one and give it negative 100%. So they both spin in the same direction. So that's, that's one of the practical applications. The other application, I run in with this sometimes when I'm building some of my EV3 or NXT cars is uh, when I'm building a gear train for my cars, sometimes it ends up that when I give the robot or car 100% power, that it actually drives in reverse. So it's helpful for me to use the invert motor block for my simplicity's sake, so that when I tell the robot to drive forward, it actually drives forward, instead of me having to always remember to tell it to go backward when I want it to go forward. So the whole purpose of the inverting motor block is to make it easier on the programmer. Thank you for watching my video this week. Be sure to subscribe for more tutorials like this. If you have a suggestion for a tutorial, be sure to submit it in the comments section below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.